So it's a typical British winter day here in North Yorkshire and we're at the Revo shoot. Now this is run by Justin Burkett and his family and covers 5,000 spectacular acres of the North Yorkshire countryside. That was the first drive, Oxendale. Uh, now we're only be shooting three drives today, so they're pushing quite a lot of birds over us. And I have to say, uh, they're spectacular. Much better than I can connect with, unfortunately. But as the drive went on, we got into them and started bringing down some pretty impressive birds. Now the valley and the woodland here offer spectacular sport. You can see the birds gathering in the hills and the forest above us, and they launch from the trees and then across and on top of the valley behind us. So some great shooting, some great sport. And if this is the beginning, I'm looking forward to seeing what's coming next. So I'm here with Justin Burkett, who is the owner of, of Revo Shoots. But it's not just you that puts this together, is it? It's, it's a family affair. No, a big family affair. Um, I, uh, both my uh, elder sons are involved, and, mm. uh, and Tim, my brother-in-law, is heavily involved on the property side. Um, and then my parents, uh, sadly we lost Dad this year, but uh, my mum's still got some property that uh, we, uh, we we beg and borrow off. So, uh, yeah, it's a real family affair. Yeah, And you yeah. shoot 5,000 acres, is that right? Yeah, we do. I mean, the, predominantly the shooting's done over probably three, mm. uh, with a lot of arable right out on the top. Mm. So over 30 years, what's it taken to get Revo to the position, the, the heralded position of one of the most iconic shoots here in the um, UK? When we first started, Dad started with 200 acres of sporting rights and mm. 60 acres of freehold. We grew it from there. We managed to purchase different farms and sporting rights etc etc mm. along the way and it's been a bit like a patchwork quilt just putting it together and um, we're very lucky that so far we're in a complete ring fence and it's been hard but very enjoyable at the same time. And now you enjoy the accolades that come with that because I have to say that Revo has spoken the same heralded company as Upward and yeah. Water and yeah. all of the iconic yeah. shoots in the UK and that must make you feel very proud. Yes it does it does but it's also a challenge to keep that going mm. and uh, once you do get you know, towards the top, you're there to be shot down. And mm. um, all the time we're trying to improve things and tweak things. Uh, the drive that we're about to go do this afternoon is a, a new drive this season. You know, I enjoy that side of it. It's a challenge. 
Well, I have to say that the drive we've just shot, which was thick edge, thick edge, yeah, yeah. and I have to say for the first half of the drive, I was in despair a little bit. <laughs> and then Mick said to me, because I, I as the birds are coming over, and because the wind's coming in front of them, I suppose you give them a little bit more respect yeah, yeah, than they do. Yeah, and I'm getting yeah. further and further in front. And he just tapped me on the shoulder and says, yeah. "You're a bit in front of that yeah, one, just sir." Slow down a bit. Two foot back, and then we're yeah, switching them off like right. that. That is a challenge with here. Is really yeah, how yeah. how to get onto the birds, yeah. how to then pull through. But anybody can come here, and if yeah. they're on the metal, can can shoot yeah, good birds. Right. Once you've found them, I think partridge and pheasant shooting in a mixed drive as well. Obviously, you've got two birds doing two different speeds, mm. and um, some people shoot the pheasant very cleanly, and then are definitely shooting the partridge yeah. um, in front. Uh, they're giving it too much. But no, there were some great birds shot there, and, yeah. and there were some great birds yeah. missed as well. Yeah. I can I can attest to that. <laughs> but hospitality is also a big thing here. You have got the barbecue out here. Yeah. Yeah, and very much catered for the outside uh, lunches, etc. We use the house as well uh, on certain days. The barbecue huts work, work really well. We do the full barbecue. Everything's game. Mm. We don't serve anything but game. And with the partridge breast that you've just eaten, uh, we shot on the first drive. Mm. All the burgers and sausages are all pheasant and partridge. And, um, you know, we've got to be eating what we shoot. How important is it and how do you encourage others to make sure that what we are shooting goes back into the food chain yeah. and becomes a su sustainable food source? You, you, can only, you can only do it through talking mm. and, and action. At home, that's what we do. Mm. Um, we do not serve a piece of pork or, or a piece of lamb or anything else. We, uh, we, we're completely uh, self-sufficient mm. with our own game um, and, and that's getting rid of a lot of game giving game away at the end of the day the beaters can take home whatever they want all our game is going locally we get rid of all our game no problems whatsoever yeah and, and it's called cool, making an effort and and also relaying to the guns every day whether they're very very experienced or novicey that you've got to take home what you know some of what you shoot exactly and we have right. to eat it and if we don't we won't be shooting it shooting is a process to put food into the food chain exactly and, right um, and it's very important that we understand that i've shot on one or two estates this year where we weren't offered any game all day and we weren't offered any game to take home and and that's wrong that's what we've got to stop mm. and we shouldn't perceive to be doing that and um, we have to uh, we have to address it yeah we do yeah. well of course i've brought a few into the bag on that last drive maybe <laughs> fewer than i needed to and i'm very looking forward very much looking forward to the next yeah. so what have we got coming up uh, we're going up to do a drive called the railway which is a, a new drive this season mm -hmm. and um, it's gone really well we, we did a fair lot of partridges early on in the year with it and uh, obviously now it's a mixed drive there should be a few partridge a few high pheasants hopefully you'll uh, you'll enjoy it well great a couple yeah. of drives of sport looking forward to the so, next no, thank you very much thank indeed you, thank you So I'm here with Stephen, uh, who's kindly uh, organised the day and, and managed to get me a spot on it. So thank you very no much problem, indeed. Mate. Much appreciated. It's a pleasure having you. And what a great team of guns you shoot with, mate. You've, you've got to be pleased with how the day went and with the company you've got here. Apart from the weather, it's a great shoot, great company. We have great shooting and a good laugh out in the countryside. Yeah, and, and look at this. This this one's a new drive for this year. This is railway, and I think we probably got a bit more of the shooting down this. Some night. of you were lucky enough to be at the better end. I think you think I tip better than you do. I think that's look what it is. Uh, I'm a tight Yorkshireman, <laughs> so you southern lads keep tipping better. Yeah, but it's it's great to see these valleys and the way that the birds can turn onto the wind. It's been spectacular yeah, sport today. Great sport today, testing birds for everybody. Anything you want to shoot at crosses, high birds. Or with my low birds for me as well. Well, I didn't want to mention that on field for you. <laughs> That's okay, they're used to seeing it, it's, it's no problem. But how did you guys come together? Because the atmosphere today has been fantastic. Unfortunately, it's a group of lads we've shot together for the last 20 years. We just gel together well. We go out, have great days out in the countryside. Mm -hmm and enjoy ourselves. Mm. That's what shooting's about. Exactly right. And I think people sometimes get a bit, you know, overexcited with, you know, t bird numbers and high birds and all that sort of thing. But it is a crack that's important. It's a day out, the bag's immaterial, some good shooting, some good crack, bit of mickey taking, 
and enjoy your day out. Well, actually, it's the first time I've been on a shoot, I think, for a long time where I haven't been the subject of all the mickey taking, so it's nice to have a bit of a rest. From, but there's a few guys in here who've got a few scars when they go home. Um, we can be fairly vicious at <laughs> yeah, times. I've noticed that. <laughs> if we get his teeth into somebody, they're going to know about it at the end of the day. <laughs> what about Justin and his team? Now, he's done a grand job. Whenever you come here, everybody gets shooting. The hospitality is brilliant. You'll never have a bad day. No. And if you have a bad day, you shouldn't come here. Exactly right. Well, all I can say is thank you ever so much for uh, mm. finding a space for me. It's been a great pleasure shooting with you. I look pleasure. forward to doing it again soon. Look forward to next year with you. Thanks, mate. All right, mate.